Would you like me to read a passage to you, Mama? What is it? It's from one of them books. It's, it, it's about cowboys. Cowboys? Well, not real ones, like, like gunslingers. It's real silly. No, I think I had enough of silly idiots who think they're gunslingers. My whole goddamn life I've been surrounded by idiots who thought they were living in a book. Only it ain't that way. No, 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 I, I, I guess it ain't. Just listen to this, all right? Frank Heck. Frank Heck looked at the sheriff cold. Clearly, you don't know who I am, he snarled. And before the sheriff could blink, the fastest young man west of the Grizzlies had filled him full of cold lead. The town was free once more. <laughs> who writes that nonsense? <laughs> Go to bed, son. Yeah, I know. Is it good for him having his head filled with stories? You ain't got one story in your head, and look how you turned out. Yeah. Wait. Huh? All right, then, Jack. How do you tell if they're bird bones? I don't know. Oh, come on. You know this. Because they're hollow, right? You'll have to do better than that. Huh? Last chance. What is it? Wolf dung. Wolf? Found it not a half mile away. We'll have to keep our eyes open around here. Huh. It looks just like Rufus's. Yeah. You see that hair in there? That's deer. Oh, yeah. Coyotes wouldn't be as thick. And uncles would stink a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> Can I keep it? If you like. Will you take me hunting, Pa? Soon. When you're ready. Okay. That might be the wolf that bit me. Come back to finish the job. Stop it, Pa. You're real good with the boy. I'm just trying to remember that he's only a boy. I know. I know. Maybe I should try that, too. How's the book? Okay. How are your studies? Okay. You been fishing at all? No. <sighs> you know, son, I... Love you more than I can say. Really, I do. Things I've done, sacrifices I've made. The only principle I always held dear is my love for you. One day I hope you can understand that. But, my God, are you a miserable little brat at times. Morning, John. I don't think I'm going bounty hunting again. I don't think you should have gone to begin with. <laughs> I'm never Make good enough, useful, am I? Uncle. Enjoy the house I paid for with bounties. Listen to your mother, son. She loves you. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. We want you to be happy, is all. Gonna be okay, son. Yeah, I know, Mama. Your dad saved him. I know. Quite a father you got there. I know. Sometimes. <laughs> Very funny. Just give Rufus a few days, son. Thanks, Pa. Ruff, ruff. Dog's fine. He was lucky you found him. I, I should have done better. Been less of a kid. Next time you will be. Of 
Quite a father, you said. Yeah, well, I thought twice now. No, no. You said it. Night, Jack. Night, Mama. What you reading? Uh, Bible. Will you read me that passage that Reverend Swanson used to read? You remember that? Well, n not not really, Mama. <laughs> Nor do I. It was so pretty. It, it was in Isaiah, I think. Okay. Uh, here's, here's a beautiful passage. Um... Uh, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath, he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. That is beautiful, <laughs> but it's not the same. The Reverend spoke about eagles. Well, I don't know much about eagles. Um, good night, Mama. Good night, son.